Okay, here's the second part of the Magic Memory Stick uh, video. Um, I recommend doing this on XP. I'm not sure if it works on Vista or anything else like that. Uh, once you've downloaded the file from the previous video, uh, what I basically let you do is make the Magic Memory Stick and install custom firmware 380 uh, M33-5. Uh, to begin, just double click on begin. So this, it will open up a window, like so. Uh, now, assuming you've already formatted the memory card, uh, what you can do is press any key to continue, like it says. Okay, uh, what you'll need to do now, obviously, is make a USB connection uh, with your PSP, which I've already done. So I can go to the next step. Okay, now this is important. You need to make sure you know what your drive letter is of your memory card. Now, in this case, mine is actually K. So there's my PSP memory card there. So you simply put whatever it is uh, by going K, like so, which is mine. Yours probably be something different. Uh, press Enter. It will then come up saying, do you wish to put a label, blah, blah, blah. Uh, insert me this, press Enter when ready. What this is going to do is format your memory card in your PSP. So uh, once that's done, it will obviously take the usual 100% to format it, so just give it a minute to do so. Now, this is probably the easiest uh, way I've actually found at the moment of making uh, the Magic Memory Stick. Um, but it's actually very, very good software, this one. Okay, once that's done, uh, you don't really have to put a uh, label, but we'll just call it Magic on this occasion. Format complete. Okay, so right at the bottom, just any key to continue. There we go. Okay, running MSP from that, what that basically does, uh, you want to do that anyway, is it splits the memory card up into two partitions uh, to store the magic memory uh, stick files that you actually need. So you have the drive successfully formatted and partition moved. Okay, so what you're doing then is press any key to continue. Please take your memory stick out and then stop your USB connection. So I'll do that. Press any key to continue. Right, put the memory card back into the PSP. So I'll just and then reinitialize the USB connection. Press any key to continue. What we will now do is copy files needed, like so, onto the memory stick. These are basically the firmware files. It needs to flash the PSP. As you can see, you got different versions there, 150, 340, and so on. And it then copies a long list of files. And once that's done, as you see, press any key. And when the, uh, this is uh, IPL, uh, I, I've done also what it means, basically, do it. Yes. I think that's yeah. Right. Okay. Any key to continue, and that's it. That is now the magic memory stick created. Okay. Um. Hopefully that was helpful. On my next video, I'll be showing you how to use the magic memory stick and Pandora's battery to flash your PSP. So that will be coming very soon. Uh. So watch your space, and hopefully, um. Got any questions or comments? Please let me know. Okay. Thank you.